Tony Ferguson responds to supporters of Khabib Nurmagomedov on Instagram Live. He tells them Khabib is fat and says they need to get off social media and get in the gym. I'm going to answer two questions. I'm going to look at my actual screen right now. So you guys go ahead and ask me two questions. I'm going to pick two random ones, all right? Ready, set, shoot. What you got? One thing is Khabib is fat. I was at 201 pounds. I cut like almost 30, 40 pounds, like two times in one camp. I got much respect for Khabib, but his 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 fighters and everybody else trying to do stuff for him. I'm like, dude, you guys need to get off the fucking Kool-Aid, man. You guys need to win some fights yourself. Do something with your fucking life. Get off social media and fucking get in the gym. That's all I'm trying to say. Let's rock. Dana White responds to rumors that the McGregor vs. Diaz trilogy will take place in December. He posted on Twitter, not true at all. James Vick vs. Joe Duffy, official for UFC 217. Gabby Garcia wins a gold medal at this year's ADCC, after which he took to social media and sent a message to other people who had something negative to say. I make the user in my sport. <laughs> Three times ADCC champion! Fast submit the. Fuck! Crazy! I need people respect my history, you know? Respect my. All my. All my medals in Jiu Jitsu, and if people don't like me or whatever, you know? Because this is the. the uh, this is the, the only way, you know? People hate you or love you and whatever if people don't like me. I'm the champion. I'm the best. I'm the best grappler in the world, you know? And this is for my family, for my friends and cry haters. I'm the best. I'm the best. Cry haters. This is a champion. Three times the best grapple in the world. Gabby Garcia, motherfuckers. <laughs> no Gallagher gives his thoughts on Conor McGregor. Look, you love Conor McGregor. Uh, it was amazing. Oh, Did you watch the fight? Yeah, oh yeah, I stayed up. I was at Russell Brand's wedding that day. And, uh, <laughs> Hang on a minute. We... Let's, let's rewind. Traditionally at a wedding, you're all meant to sort of sit around. You go and watch, slope off and what or did Russell stick it oh, on? Oh no, he, no, Russell kicked us all out at midnight. And uh, I think he let the Harry Christian stay on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Can't throw them out. I lost a pair it's of bad karma. I lost a pair of sunglasses. And, uh, you blame I, the Harry Krishna? I'm the Harry Krishna, yeah, for sure, man. Because yeah. it was a great story, and this is a guy, yeah. Conor McGregor, four years ago, is an un unemployed Irish plumber, and now he's... But he's... The trash talking, just like, oh, my, I love him. He's cool. Oh, he's a... He's a dude. As an absolute dude. He makes me cry. Cry laughing when he's going on about... He's not about loud funny. Floyd, Floyd, Floyd by with his baldy little head. Yeah. 16,000 people just at a yeah, press conference, yeah. fans, on oh, a Friday yeah. night. It's Yes. And Conor was like a stand-up comedian. Yeah, you know, charisma will get you a long way. If yeah. You're talented and you've got charisma, the world yeah. is your oyster, you know what I mean? And that guy's got it. It's like, wow, where have you come? What planet have you come from? It's unbelievable. <laughs> and the mink There is an like, otherworldliness about him, isn't there? Yeah, you know, sure. you're just like, where does that come from? For sure. I'd love, love to meet him. I've got a lot of Irish friends who from Dublin, and they said, oh, guys like him, they're on every street corner <laughs> where he comes from. He just happens to be a fighter. They said, that place where he comes from, they're known. They will not let you have the last word in any really? argument at all. That's what they're like. <laughs>